ARPA-H really pursues research that we call high risk, high reward. Uh, that doesn't mean high risk to patients, it means high technical risk. And so these are projects that the rest of the federal funding ecosystem is unable to take on and private sector is not willing to take on either. So AICC has a presence at DEF CON because it's really important to build the collaborations between government and other stakeholders, including non-traditional partners uh, like the community here at DEF CON. So for the, the walkthrough experience at AICC, it starts with an immersive uh, transportation to a fictitious city where you're about to experience different components of infrastructure. And so it's a chance to interact, uh, to be surprised uh, about some of that connectivity and then think about how we might solve those problems for the future. Bringing that to life here has just been a, a delight to be a part of and to support Andrew Carney, our program manager that both ARPA-H and, and DARPA share has really been just the right choice for both agencies. Uh, for me, for those that don't know me, I used to actually be at DARPA and, and being around colleagues that were tip of the spear, cyber, deep in national security. And now being at ARPA-H where um, I'm surrounded by these, these wonderful experts in healthcare, what we don't have is that workforce in national security and cyber defenses. Uh, that means that we are much more vulnerable to some of these attacks. And as we start to build and, and protect against these vulnerabilities, we actually don't have that national security workforce or the cyber workforce uh, to be able to maintain and scale that. What's really interesting, I think, about the AICC is that creating those autonomous tools that we can we can patch without the need for that workforce and, and bridge that, which is really where we need to go um, in the future. So that's you know the lens today. How do we think about cyber in the future of health 10 years from now? I think it is going to be a very limited footprint healthcare cyber force, but a lot of autonomous capability. This is definitely not the first DARPA challenge that has come to DEF CON or into the real world. And the scale and magnitude of the challenge of this size, I think, is the realm of DARPA. ARPA-H, a two-year-old agency, we hope to achieve this independently one day. And so the, the partnership here with DARPA is a little bit of a learning experience. We contribute some of the technical expertise from the program manager and some of the cases that are explored here today. But the size of this grand challenge and thinking about every little element of engagement from the transportation experience coming into the city through the real world challenges that you run through and the incredible staff that is running the AICC challenge is really something to behold. And I hope something that lasts well beyond DEF CON. I know we'll be back next summer, but the, the learnings here, if, if DARPA and RBH can capture some of this and continue to bring that to grow the workforce um, and that, that technical insight over time is, is really where we wanna be. So as we think about next year, um, maybe a call to action to this community that I would love to leave you with from the ARPA-H perspective. So uh, DARPA is really well known in this context. Uh, a lot of folks look forward to a DARPA challenge. By having ARPA-H in the mix, I wonder, are there non-traditional partners that aren't here today that we can bring forward to, to really gain interest and start to build a community of practice uh, to address some of those biggest cyber challenges, not only that we know of today, but that we will create with the new technologies and capabilities that I hope ARPA-H will bring forward into the real world. And then last but not least, I would be remiss if I did just not share my gratitude to DARPA and the entire team for helping support the stand-up of ARPA-H for this incredible challenge. And uh, we look forward to being there with you next year.